we got her out. So off we go. Off we go down the road now again. See if we can get going down the road. It's uh, still pretty rough, huh? Yeah, it ain't let up yet. Well, I tell you what, them uh, new skid plates got to work out day one. It seems like I always, I always put something to work immediately, day one for some reason. I have no idea why, but. Uh, just go ahead and just uh, mash it into the ground and make sure it works good, I guess. But uh, kind of riding through this uh, stream is kind of fun, but it definitely makes traction a lot more difficult. There we go. What's this? Oh my. Ooh, barely missed it. Barely missed it. Time to open a gate again. Oh. All right, that was a, uh, oh boy, more, more fun, more fun. We're gonna have to stay to the right just a little bit, keep from keep from getting turtled I'm getting the uh, the lift kit it should be here next week and uh, be able to get that on I kind of wished I I had the lift kit on it now but so far I haven't really hit the bottom that much considering the size of these rocks but I did hear the a arms you know, because you got the, I've got that aluminum, that aluminum skid plate on the A arms, and uh, you can hear it pretty distinctly when it hits a rock. Looks like my dad's making it through okay. Boy, tell you what, once you get through that first spot, it's kind of a lot of fun after that. This is a, this is a hoot once you get through there. Pretty fun trail, but yeah, that, that rock, that rock section kind of sucks. Let me uh, take it out of four-wheel drive. It should be good for now. All right, now we're in uh, two-wheel drive again and high range. And uh, yeah, I think I, I think I stuck my hand when I was messing with my dad's winch cable. His winch cable is not in the 
the best of shape, so it's like, so it's like, yeah, I think I, I didn't have my gloves. I wasn't expecting it to be uh, any big deal. You know, I wasn't expecting him to get stuck. I thought I was going to walk back. We were, you know, I was going to help him with that one spot, and uh, and we were going to be tr trucking on along, and then he got through the first part, like super easy, no big deal, and then the part where I didn't think there was going to be any problem at all, he got like hung up in there, wedged in like a weird angle to where you couldn't get the you couldn't get the machine out, couldn't go backwards, couldn't go forwards. It was just jammed in there, and. Uh, yeah, it took a little uh, winch pulling to get it out of there, you know. So that was uh, a lot of work. Lots more work than I was uh, expecting. Okay, now is it opening up into a, a dirt wash now? Kind of looks like it. Looks like we're good now. Holy smoke roonies dude. That was brutal, man. Brutal. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't see my dad. Let's see. I don't want to hit somebody in these blind curves. I wasn't expecting to see anybody on this trail, honestly. But uh, apparently uh, ranchers are out here. Yeehaw, man. Checking to make sure I don't lose any of my cameras because uh, I probably used a lot of battery. Uh, messing with it just a minute ago man it was uh it was brutal and uh let me see what we got because uh i'm noticing that the uh that the 360 camera the battery is uh blinking 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 let me see what we got here uh yeah the battery's almost dead on the 360 cam and i got uh, i got plenty of those batteries i ain't worried about that but uh i'm running a different rear cam today and uh, I got tired of uh, that DJI Osmo action, the way it splits the video into multiple parts, multiple videos every like four gig. You know, no matter what resolution you're using, it's every four gig. And, and it really screws with the editing, man. It just makes the editing just so much more difficult, man. It's not even funny because you've got so many more video files to keep track of and keep in sync. and on the timeline and also I find that the the multicam feature in Adobe Premiere is worthless if I use that camera I mean I can't use I can't use the uh, the multicam feature to do the editing and I just I want to use that I mean uh, originally when I first you know shelled out the money for Adobe Premiere it was for that feature for that ex you know uh, feature I was using uh, Adobe Elements and it was fine for me I wasn't you know I wasn't having any issues using it it uh, I didn't need any uh, you know super fancy features or anything um, but I did want that multi cam feature so um, so that's kind of what I'm uh, looking to use Looks like there is another trail on the GPS that goes to the right, but it kind of looks like it's like a, a horse trail or a hiking trail or something, but we'll see. It's coming up. It should be coming up up here on the right. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something, but I'm just enjoying this, uh, the scenery out here. I haven't I haven't been out here in so many years, and I'll tell you right now, I don't remember any of what we just went through, man. I remember that there was a boulder section, but I don't remember anything like that, man. And I, you know, it, it could have changed drastically in, uh, you know, in the 10 or 15 years since the last time I've been here. But I don't know, man. That looked more like uh, 
my memory just isn't uh, what it used to be kind of situation. It's kind of what that looked like to me. But I'm, I can't wait to see what these new camera angles look like. This does look like, I mean, if you didn't want, if you weren't worried about somebody coming from the other way, which I'm always worried about that, that's just something I'm constantly thinking about. Uh, no matter what people comment in the comments, which is, you know, you know, I've gotten, you know, when I'm riding in these washes like this, I've gotten some really uh, nasty comments about me driving too fast and blind corners and stuff like that, which, which is nonsense. You know, my, I put my speed on the screen for, you know, for that, you know, to kind of, uh, negate some of those stupid ass comments like that but you, you know matt no matter what you do there's there's always that guy you know what i mean and uh i i don't i don't know what causes people to do that you can see my speed i'm going 15 miles an hour i mean this is how fast you would go in a school zone for crying out loud do i want to go faster would it be fun to go whipping through here yeah it's just not safe and i'm a and i'm a firm proponent of uh you know doing uh you know safe safe things and uh and uh and this looks like fun i don't have to do this there's a bypass i'm just doing it for fun I'm in two-wheel drive, by the way, too. Two-wheel drive. Oh, and this is where it meets back up right here. Oh, man, there looks like some fun stuff over there to play around on if you wanted to. Looks like you can, looks like this trail can get as hairy as you want it to get. Look at that over there, boy. Yeah. Wow. There's the log corral. There's where the trail gets its name right there, guys. Anyway, we'll get to talking more about the assholes on the internet in a minute, I guess. But, uh... Oh, there's the lake, man. There's the lake. All right, guys. We're going to get some pictures right here. And uh, we'll get back at you. Uno momento. Por favor.